Would you like to have a look at a colony of bull ants? Well, this is one you've seen before, my nigrosyncta colony, Mimesia nigrosyncta. Let's have a look at them. And this is in the Bull Ant Den by Ant Shop Oz. Let's get into it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a clean out of their outworld and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. A little bit of some tips I guess for ant keeping and what you need to do. So I've got a couple of trays in here. This one here that I'm picking up is the water. As you can see they've dumped a bit of dirt in there. And this one is their honey or sugar water tray as well. So I'm going to grab those ones out. I need to clean those up. There they are. Beautiful. Nice and clean, nice and dry, ready to go back in. Now the front of the outworld here in a roundabout, you can see it's a little bit grubby and it just happens over time. So what I'm going to do is get some cotton buds and I'm going to get some nice pure clean water. Just wet the end of the cotton bud and I'm going to just wipe down the insides and clean it all up. Just a little bit of grub um, over time uh, on the inside of these outworlds and it just, just doesn't look really nice. So this is a nice little step I like to do just to clean that nest up, make it look a little bit nicer. So. I'll just speed the little footage up a little bit for you guys and um, yeah, we'll just finish that off. Now once I've cleaned that all up, like so, it's looking much better there, nice and clean. I'm going to actually have a look at the substrate here or the dirt on the outside of the outworld. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in and use this brush just to brush down uh, the rocks, clean it up a little bit, make it a little bit nicer for them. Um, need a little bit of maintenance now and then from time to time. So I'm using this Ant Safe Sand from Ant Keeping Depot, Oz Ants. So link down in the description if you want to get any of that. And I'm just going to pour it in the bottom here, just some fresh, dry, clean Ant Safe Sand. And this beautiful red dirt's really nice. So I'm just going to brush that around just to give it a nice clean layer on the top here. And beautiful. Really nice. What do you think? Just a little bit of ant care tips and hopefully you can uh, take away some things from this. Okay, what do you think? Looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Nice and clean, that perspex, a lot nicer now and the new fresh sand little top-down view of it here so it's a very basic outworld that that's all I want so I'm just going to get these two dishes and I'll drop them back in now one for the water one for the sugar solution or the honey whatever one you like and I'm going to top these up so again using the syringe with some nice pure I use bottled water it's nice and clean and pure I know there's no harmful chemicals in it nice natural spring water and then I'm just going to top up the other tray with this solution that I make and this is a 50 50 between sugar, I use raw sugar, and water. Again, nice and clean, and I only keep that for a few days, and then I throw the rest out. So there we go. It's ready to go for this bull ant colony. Now, there is a name reveal coming up as well, which is pretty exciting. Name reveal for the queen and also the colony, and that's been chosen by one of my Patreons. They're on that level, so that's a medical carcass nine has the privilege of doing that. So thanks for your support. All right. Now, before we get into that, something else I'll just briefly show you. Now, what I wanted to do briefly is show you some products from Ant Shop Oz. Link in the description. These nests, which you see here. Also, they have that bull ant den, which this colony is currently in. And I did a review of that product, so I'll put a card at the top where you can check that out. But there's many really good products on their website, so check them out. Now, if you use the code down in the description, you can get 5% off your order as well. And that's on anything that you order there. So I encourage you to have a look at that. And um, yeah, it's really nice products. And especially this Bull Ant Den, which is going really well for this colony. So you'll see a little bit more of that right soon. So let's have a look now at the queen and the workers and see what's been going on in here. Okay, time to have a look at the colony. So we've removed this cardboard that just keeps the nest nice and dark. And I've also got a piece of red film on the top. Also, just to keep that a little bit darker for the queen and her colony. Now, originally with this colony, I had three workers you would have seen in the last update. Now, one has died 
one disappeared, I think escaped out of a little hole that I found. Um, so we're left with one worker, which is a little bit disturbing. I was a bit worried actually, because obviously it's one of the first workers, so one of the Ninitics. But as you can see, we've got a bit more growth on the way, and that's why I haven't really done an update on these guys for a little while. I didn't want to stress the queen out with her new brood. And if we have a little look at her, there she is, isn't she beautiful? What a beautiful species of bull ant. I love the color variation. Now, as you can see there, underneath her, she has some cocoons. There's actually four cocoons there. So this is her second generation of workers that she'll be producing. And I'm really excited. Hopefully they'll all hatch and we'll have four new workers there. Uh, she desperately needs some more help, so that would be great. And you can also see we have some larvae under there. So progressing nicely. So I don't want to disturb them too much. You can see the little fine worker here. A little bit cloudy in this test tube set up at the moment, so we're going to have to do a little bit of a cleanup. So, name reveal. Do you want to know the name of this queen as picked by Medical Carcass 9? Well, the queen's name is Lilith. Lilith, what a nice name for this queen. And the colony we're going to call the Valkyries. Uh, Valkyries, now if you look up the term Valkyrie, you'll see it's the chooser of the slain. And in this case, chooser of the slain crickets. So what do you think? Do you like the name? Do you like the name of the colony as well? Let us know in the comments below and show some love for Medical Carcass 9 as well. Thank you so much for your support, mate. Okay, as we can see here, we've got a bit of rubbish in the other test tubes here. So this ant bull den, as you can see here, is three test tubes. One has um, the water in it, and that's where the queen is. It's got this little outworld on the end, and then it's got these three test tubes. So they can use it to expand their nesting space. You can block them up if you don't need it. In this case, I haven't, and what I'm going to do is remove some of the trash. So get that little container handy. I'm also using one of these picks as well. Now, I just picked up that from eBay, a little toothpick. As you can see, we've got the queen and the worker in that test tube there, and I'm going to clean out the trash on this bottom one. So all I do is I just hook underneath and I lift up. Now, you don't need one of these special tools. You can use whatever you've got handy. Keep an eye on the workers and the queen um, that are in the nest there as well. You don't want them escaping while you're doing your clean out. What I'm going to do is get this test tube here and I'm going to use the pick and slide it in and just pull out all the dead carcasses of the crickets that they've eaten. Killed and eaten and they've just dumped that into this final little test tube here. Now we want to make sure we clean it out. We don't want any mold or anything growing in there. We want to keep it nice and clean. And I'm just going to spread out the rest of that sand that I've got. I've used a couple of different sorts of sand just to see if they have any preference. And all I need to do now is just to pop it back in. Hook the end like so, and just pop that back in. Nice and clean. Beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is clean out the second one here. Again, we've got some more parts of crickets. We don't need that, so let's do the same thing. Just pop that one out, remove all of the rubbish out of it, clean it up and place it back in. So here we go, I've cleaned it out and we'll just drop it back in. This one's got that red dirt and sand in there. Drop it in like so and we're good to go again. Nice and clean, no mold growing, no harmful things gonna happen to the colony. Okay, now it's time to have a look at the little outworld on the end here. So we've got the little tab on the top. Again, the worker, make sure it's out of the way. I'm just going to open this up, nice tight fit, which is what you want. And this leads out into the outworld. So I'm just going to use my tweezers here and I'm just going to remove the dead cricket parts here. I haven't cleaned this colony out in a little while. A little bit slack there, but I've been trying to leave them alone to make sure I don't interrupt any of that new brood. It was critical that we had that second generation starting. So I'll just clean that out quickly, get rid of all of the mess in there. Now I'm just going to use the brush and I'm going to brush this around. And what this does is because of the static electricity, it actually attaches to the brush like so. And then I can just knock all of that excess sand and little bits of cricket off and just make sure it's nice and clean here. And I can put a little bit of fresh sand back in here as well and just clean and brush that all around. So it looks really nice. Nothing like a nice, clean nest ready to go. It's a thing of beauty. Okay, there we go. It's looking much better, much nicer for this colony. And I'm glad I can do this clean out. 
make sure you're cleaning out your outworlds and your nests where you can. Now nests can be rather hard to clean out, but that's a little benefit of the bull ant den like that. You know where their garbage is going to be. What a beautiful colony. So I'm really happy that they've got that second generation on their way and hopefully we can expand this colony. They're a beautiful species and they love to hunt and they're very aggressive. So there we go, there's the uh, look at their nest and their outworld all cleaned up and nice. I hope you've got some little tips there um, from that as well, um, just how to clean up things, some little things that might be interesting to you. So I hope you've enjoyed having a brief look and it's nice to finally have a name for the queen and this colony. So we'd like to welcome Lilith and the Valkyries. Only one Valkyrie at the moment, but hopefully we'll have another four Valkyries soon. And what a beautiful, beautiful queen. Mimesia nigrosincta. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? She's picking up one of those cocoons and moving her around. So basically with this, I give her um, one cricket in the outworld um, from time to time, and they will just go out there, the worker will go out and will hunt that cricket down and drag it back inside. Now recently I know there's been a bit of uh, chatter about live feeding your ants, but in this case, this species actually does need live food to hunt. They're not interested in dead food. So I do have to put crickets. Now they're specially grown feeder crickets and they're dropped into the outworld. I don't put them anywhere near the nest so they can't go in um, or attack the queen or the brood and the worker will go out there and actually hunt the cricket down. They use eyesight for that and they will quickly sting and kill that cricket very quickly and then they'll drag it back inside. So yeah, that's the live feeding that happens in here, but I don't introduce anything that can harm my colonies or cause undue stress to whatever I'm feeding them as well. So let me know what you think in the comments about that as well. There has been a fair bit of chatter about that recently on a few channels. So I just wanted to explain that fully to you. Now, Mimesia bull ants are definitely not for the inexperienced ant keeper. You need to be a professional, have lots of experience if you're going to keep this species, any species of bull ant or Mimesia, because they sting and you can have bad reactions to them as well. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, that little look at this colony. If you would like to support the channel, head over to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Novo Ants and you can uh, choose from the different levels and the different perks that come along with those different levels as well. So thank you very much. I'd like to thank my Patreons for their support of the channel, making many things possible for me and uh, helping me here with the naming of the colonies and the Queen. So thanks to Medical Carcass 9, William Bass and John Redwood and my many other Patreons as well that do support me. Thank you so much for it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. There'll be two videos on the screen now for you, one recommended for you by YouTube and one that I've picked specifically for you that you may enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this video and remember, happy ant keeping.